it's me. Today we're gonna be checking out some cool things that I learned on TikTok. You know the white lines on a football field? I thought they were painted on. It's white grass. They roll it out like the regular grass. They glue it in place. Oh, no wonder it's perfect. One of the world's best kept secrets. Who would have known this except the actual people who glue the white strip? Thank you for sharing your secrets. I recently came across this on TikTok and this is how they make prosthetics. Like a prosthetic leg and then to match it to your skin color, that's paint. And it's basically paint trapped in a sack. And they use this thread to just like distribute the paint. And it's so satisfying. They do it so evenly. Oh, too much paint, gotta put it back. And then when you need more paint, just squeeze the little paint sack. Oh, that's cool. I really enjoyed that process. What if somebody wanted a pink sparkly leg? Could they get that? Let me tell you something real quick. A lot of times people go to a restaurant, they get sick and they think it's food poisoning or their food made them sick. There's a chance that it was their eyes that got you sick. That water that I just showed you is what's making that ice. You can't tell me that this water hasn't given people the runs. It's bacteria water. It's so so dirty. You know what? I believe it. And ever since I heard this, I stopped getting ice at restaurants because there's a good chance they don't clean the ice maker. And all that nasty doo doo water is going into your ice. Man, I was blaming Taco Bell all these years for their mystery meat and cheese sauce when it was probably just the ice. I have a very weak stomach, cannot handle this. Oh, why are Japanese people so smart? This fridge opens from both sides. Hey, all you lefties, they made a fridge for you. No more smacking Ooh. yourself in the face every time you open the fridge. Okay, but that's really cool. I'd be worried the door would fall off. When they got cracks in the road, this is how they fix them. Take an asphalt roller and just you know, I always wondered why there are so many dark lines all over the road. They just fix in the cracks, patching it up. You know, instead of paving the whole road, just pave the crack. Even though it looks like a three-year-old took a black crayon, scribbled all over the wall, it fixed the crack. Now go get yourself a snack. Okay, y'all been wanting to hear two bees, so let's get two. You can, you can hear the bees. Hold on. Watch this. They talk to each other. they saying and they sound exactly how I would imagine a bee to sound they either sound like they're quirky or they're in pain why not both here's something I wish I knew before I was in my 30s you're supposed to microwave things on the outside of the microwave tray what middle bad outside good that what? works that really works. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're telling me it's not my microwave that sucks and can't properly distribute the heat to heat up my food. Always some of it gotta be cold. But is it because I've been putting it in the middle? If I put it on the side, will it somehow evenly distribute the heat? Why make circle plate tray if you want me to put bowl on the side? I gotta try this out. So this right here is a ammonia packet. And you see this dude? He's sound asleep. How to wake up anybody. Just one whiff. One whiff and you are up immediately. So they use this in hospitals to wake people up. You know, I always wonder, can you just like fake pass out and then they take you to the hospital? But no, you get one whiff of this and you're just up and running. This is how they make the fries at Five Guys. First, you wash the potatoes off. Wow, y'all start with fresh potatoes? Bring them to the slicer. Donald's crying. Put them in there. Up. Slice them. You set it. You slice it. Oh. Then you put them in a bucket. That's how real cook. fries are made. Put them in the fryer and let them cook. This. From potato to fryer. Oh, I thought for a hot second he put his hand in the fryer, but that is just washing it. Whew. Just casually reach into the fryer, get a fresh batch of fries. Who do you think you are, Thanos? When it comes to fire, the most common color is probably orange or red. Yes. And this is usually from burning something like wood. So you get a different color fire depending on what you burn. For example, if I add a solution of boric acid and methanol and light it on fire, I get a really nice green color. Wow, green fire? I don't think I've ever seen green fire before. Only on an LED fireplace. <laughs> I can also throw some aluminum into an acidic copper solution. And get a blue flame. What I think is even cooler though, is what happens when I burn nitromethane. It actually doesn't burn on its own, and I have to give it a boost with some methanol. Now when I try it, I get a flame that has almost no color. White fire? This is the science 
audience that they need to be teaching in school. How many people are gonna watch this and instantly be like, oh, whoa. I love science. I want to make RGB fire. Who knew Jeeps could do this? So under your floor mat, or you know, if you don't even have a floor mat, you can literally hose it off and there's a drain. Well, where does it drain? Under the car? Dirty car? No problem. Just hose that bad boy off. You know, it also has one of these in the trunk. Like you could put ice in it to cool your snacks and then you just like pop the drain out and it drains. A leaky car in a good way. Mmm, mango seed. Whoa, wait, wait. You know when they wash it and it's really fluffy? No, you took it too far. They peeled it. This is what's inside. This is the actual mango seed. Put in a cup of water. Y'all gonna grow this bad boy. I thought that was the tree that it grew for a hot second. I'm like, that's not a mango tree. Weeks later, it has sprouted into a mango tree. Time to take this bad boy and plant it into the ground. Wow, it's growing mangoes. How oh, to live in a tropical climate. The only things we grow here cactus and weeds okay we're gonna do a test I'm gonna show you a video of a horse watch very closely if you see the horse going forward you're a left-brained person analytical logical but if you see it going backwards you're a right brain person you're creative it's going backwards right they keep stopping it but it's it's going backwards that's what I see my creative I'm definitely not logical so I'm right brained where's the creativity pretty good hack Y'all have seen a pomegranate, right? Y'all ever wondered how they get all the little seeds out? So there's a way to cut it. Whoa, and then you just pull out the middle piece and it comes out clean. My mom always makes pomegranate juice out of fresh pomegranates. And I always wondered how you do that. It's like thousands of juicy seeds. She's like, I cut it open and I take them out by hand. I'm like, there's no easier way to do this. Pomegranate, the most exclusive of juices. You really gotta work for it. So if you put something in your dishwasher that is too long for your dishwasher, you can actually adjust the basket, like from the side of it, to bring it down. Because you know the bottom row has a lot of space, but the top row, not so much. So you can adjust it. Well, well, well. This is how the dentist makes a mold for your teeth. So some just mix it by hand, but then they got this spinny bowl machine and it really smooths it down. Ooh, dang, that's nice. And then put it in a little mold and then you just bite into it. I had to do this myself once because I got custom fangs. This is your reminder to change your microwave charcoal filter. Another filter you want me to change. We got the AC filter, the car air filter, my air purifier filter, and you're telling me my microwave needs a filter that needs changing every six months. No, I don't think so. I got enough filters to deal with. That is excessive. This foamy stuff on the beach is whale sperm. So if you're starving, you can eat it and it has good protein in it. I'm sorry, what did you say? This foamy stuff on the beach is whale sperm. So if you're starving, you can eat it and it has good protein in it. So next time you're at the beach, if you're really hungry, look for this stuff and enjoy. That's when I know I scrolled too far on my For You page. When we start getting TikToks about whale sperm as a protein source, all I can think about the vegan teacher just scooping it into a glass. Free protein shake. That is nasty. I'm dead and starving on the beach. I'ma chew on the rocks before I eat that. You know, sometimes you learn some things that it's better not to know. Got some movie camera trickery for you. This is why you never see the camera in the mirror when they're recording a mirror scene in movies. We have the actress and then a stunt double. They're recording her brushing her teeth in front of the mirror. And the person who dug down, that was a stunt double. The back of the head double to get this sick toothbrushing scene. I saw this on TikTok and now I do it every time so I don't have to go inside. At the gas station when you're getting gas, if you press the clear and enter button at the same time, you can set an amount. So if you only wanna spend $20 on gas, you're gonna spend $20. So you get the nice crispy zeros when you're done. Next time you open your coffee creamer and it's got that pesky little aluminum lid, on the back of the lid, there's a little spiky part that you could just and it makes the hole. You mean no more shoving my thumbnail? Trying to stab the hole? Well, that makes my life a lot easier. She didn't even remove the aluminum. Just pop the hole into it, put the lid back on. Free flowing cream. A good strapless bra, very difficult to find. But I found this hack that saves you from buying a strapless bra. Take this strap and Bring it around your head and down your arm on this side, oh. just like that. And then I think we Please do the same on the other side. Line. So just like oh, that'd be uncomfy. This. And then rather than having these weird little triangles at the top of the bra, what you're gonna do is bring the straps down. You can bring them just down like this. Oh. Oh my goodness, that's literally seamless. Hold on, give me a second. I'm sorry, what? 
This is so that brilliant. Is you guys literally genius. need to go try this right now. I was today years old when I found this out. I strongly dislike wearing a bra. I've always avoided situations where you have to wear a strapless bra, but now, behold, I like to use a lot of hand gestures. Cash me on the next cringe comp. So she suffered from migraines since she was 11 years old. So there is this piercing that is supposed to help migraines. The dive piercing is 90% effective. Owie, woo, AKA the migraine piercing. So a few weeks ago, I was gonna get this and I was told it's not always effective. They can't say that it's gonna fix your migraines, but there's a chance that it can. Random grocery facts that I know, but you don't because I've worked in the grocery store for 13 years, part five. Well, there are grocery secrets. Let's hear it. Bread fact. To determine the freshness of a loaf of bread, all you have to do is check the bow tie indicator. This is the bow tie indicator. You mean that little plastic thing I throw away immediately and then twist up the bag of bread? So you're telling me that little thing indicates how fresh the bread is. So if it's blue, the bread was baked on a Monday. Green, Tuesday. Red, Thursday. I guess Wednesday is a no bread day. White, Friday. I feel like most of these things are white. So was most bread baked on Friday? And then red on Saturday. Get a break for two days a week. Freshest bread will be at the bottom. With bread, you rotate from the bottom up. So the older dates will be at the top where it's easier for the customer to grab it. And then the lower ones will be your furthest date. So if you want fresh bread, go from the bottom. Y'all heard the man. Fresh bread from the bottom. Old crusty bread from the top. Whatever you prefer. I'll be going to the frozen aisle to get my gluten-free loaf. That's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below. Let me know something new that you learned today. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.